Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 442. Please refer to the picture under Internuclear Ophthalmoplegia to answer the following questions. What is another name for Internuclear Ophthalmoplegia? Another name for Internuclear Ophthalmoplegia is MLF syndrome, and MLF stands for Medial Longitudinal Fasciculus. What is medial longitudinal fasciculus? Medial longitudinal fasciculus are pair of tracts that allow the crosstalk between cranial nerve 6 and cranial nerve 3 nuclei. And because of this connection, it coordinates both eyes to move in the same horizontal direction. Why is the medial horizontal fasciculus highly myelinated? The reason medial longitudinal fasciculus is highly myelinated is because it must communicate quickly so eyes could move at the same time, and because of this, it requires high amounts of myelination. What is a condition that can lead to lesion of the medial longitudinal fasciculus? Medial longitudinal fasciculus can happen in conditions that lead to demyelination, such as multiple sclerosis. What does lesion of the medial longitudinal fasciculus cause? The lesion of medial longitudinal fasciculus causes the internuclear ophthalmoplegia. Describe what happens in order to cause the internuclear ophthalmoplegia. Internuclear ophthalmoplegia happens because there is lack of communication between cranial nerve 6 nucleus and cranial nerve 3 nucleus. And the lack of communication is such that when cranial nerve 6 nucleus goes on and activates the ipsilateral lateral rectus muscle on the contralateral side, cranial nerve 3 nucleus does not stimulate the medial rectus. So basically, when cranial nerve 6 is firing on one side, on the other side, if cranial nerve 3 does not respond and fire, this will cause the lack of communication, which would lead to internuclear ophthalmoplegia. What is the end result of internuclear ophthalmoplegia? The end result of internuclear ophthalmoplegia would be that the abducting eye will get nystagmus, and this is because cranial nerve 6 will overfire to stimulate cranial nerve 3. Is convergence affected in internuclear ophthalmoplegia? The answer is no. Convergence is normal in internuclear ophthalmoplegia. Define convergence. Convergence is simultaneous inward movement of both eyes towards each other, and this is usually done to focus on a particular object. What is the mnemonic to help you remember that the MLF syndrome occurs in multiple sclerosis? The mnemonic to help you remember this is just remember MLF has that M in it, and multiple sclerosis also has the M. Describe the normal coordinated process that occurs to allow you to look to the left. In order for your eyes to look to the left, a few coordinated processes must happen, and that includes when the left nucleus of cranial nerve 6 fires, it will cause the contraction to occur in the left lateral rectus muscle. And at the same time, it will also stimulate the contralateral right nucleus of cranial nerve 3. And it's doing this via the right medial longitudinal fasciculus. And when cranial nerve 3 has fired, it will cause the contraction to happen in the right medial rectus muscle. And when right medial rectus muscle is contracted and the left lateral rectus muscle is contracted, it will cause both the eyes to look in one direction. And this is the complete coordinated movement when you want to look to the left. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.